what's happening here? Me. Okay. I'll me. go first. Let me go first. <laughs> okay. I'm Dinger. This is my sister Jeannie. We're the owners now. We've been passed down through the family. And we've been here all of our life, as Pete has been here, Pete Waldershied. He has been here all his life also, I'm sure. <laughs> and um, our um, family bought this store in from the Ishams in 1920, 1918, okay? But we've been around for 147 years. We yeah, have. I have been. But the store. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And Jeannie's going to give you a little bit of history about the old-time store because I know we've been here so many years on CNN that we always tell you what's going on right now. She'd like to tell you a little bit about what did go on. So I'll turn it over for a, a quick talk, Jeannie. It's your she, turn. She said I had five minutes. That's, right. not, that's not enough. That's I've, right. I've been here 47 years. <laughs> I need more than five minutes. Well, but thanks. anyway, um, yeah, this this place is an institution. Uh, the the Isham boys came down from Ohio in, 19, in, in 1870 and, and started the store. In this location, we believe this was the this was the original location of it, and um, the uh, the Walterside boys bought them out in 1918, and uh, decided they'd stay here. Meanwhile, uh, the building got older and needed this and needed that, and so a lot of changes have been made. But uh, you're all too young to remember what the front looked like. I almost don't remember myself, and that's a lie, too, isn't it, Aaron? Yeah, we, anyway, we used to have two doors in the front, and one each equidistant in from the sides, and and uh, had a lot of fun with those doors, especially if you were playing tag down here at night when you weren't supposed to, <laughs> hiding in the wallpaper bins that used to be upstairs, and... Dinger spent her time when she was little riding on the cream separators. You know, if you don't know what a cream separator was, but anyway, Dinger liked to get up there and. Uh -huh. Pete, did you ever do that? Not that. I used to ride my tricycle all around. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember being on a tricycle and just having a fun time through the yeah. aisles. Well, the old this floor this floor was was put down when the building was remodeled after World War II, nineteen forty World War II, nineteen forty six. And the old flooring's underneath, and the old flooring had some wide grooves, you know, between the boards, big old wide boards. Jerry Ann used to put, up, put on ice skates. She always wanted to be Sonia Henny. Remember? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I know Jerry, <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> Jerry wanted to be Sonia Henny, and she'd put those, those skates in those grooves and go sliding down. Meanwhile, my time was spent... Uh, Chasing Indians and things on the on the saddles. Dad, they kept the saddles on the you know on the the wooden boxes, trees, and I'd go from saddle to saddle. Dad said he never sold a saddle that was new; they were all used. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the um, the business uh, has changed, of course, over the years quite a bit. It used to be strictly, uh, not strictly, but a lot of farm business. And we used to uh, this warehouse out here. We used to stock. Uh, uh, fencing and uh, probably some of you remember that too and uh, not too many of you too you're just uh, too young cut pipe and uh -huh. cut pipe and all that yeah stuff. now now we still stock steel pipe we we thread and cut pipe so if you're doing a plumbing job this is where you end up for the most part and um, the the guys still do that and uh, right now do we have a new key cutter in town Say we're about the only one cutting keys, I think, right now. I think there's a new guy in town. But anyway, I was going to tell you about this old building, what it used to look like. It used to have two doors in front. And um, this deck up here, this is where I hide out up here on the poop deck. And um, down the sides, we used to have wallpaper up there, and I can't remember all the stuff we had up there, but that was a good area. And that was added on. Uh, when they remodeled the building, they changed it around, and um, the air conditioning, heating, air conditioning system was put in by Liebert Brothers and Hartley Sheet Metal just two years ago, a year ago, two years ago. Um, the basement is a site for sore eyes. If you've never seen a basement like that, you need to catch it, of course, when it's dry. Don't come when it's wet. Um, but uh, the, the basement... Uh, we have trouble to this day. It's brick floor in it. And if we don't watch out, <laughs> we're missing bricks every now and then. And people go down to see it. 
And uh, that's where we keep, uh, you believe it, uh, vet pipe, stuff like that, rope, and chain comes up to the floor from down there. Um, the uh, main change up here, We've got a third floor, a full third floor that you don't realize, uh huh. And it, the wow. ceiling is uh, about 15 feet tall up there. If you've ever noticed the back end of the building here, we've got this dock, and uh, the dock was built to, of course, bring things in and out. The, but when we when we had farm machinery, we used to sell farm machinery. We had Massey Harris. We had International Harvest. Yeah, International Harvester, Harvester, Massey Harrison, Massey Ferguson. They changed names so much. But anyway, that's what we did. We used to have three mechanics working full-time in the warehouse back here during World War II, keeping everybody going. But anyway, that um, um, the warehouse, as he kept that stuff, we kept uh, some things we don't handle anymore. No, you used to come in the back door, and of course this ceiling wasn't like this. You used to come in the back door and it went clear up, ceiling went clear up to the ceiling out there, which, by the way, that's the original wood, wood ceiling to the building. And they had pipes, three, four pipes coming down from the ceiling, Pete. You remember that? Oh, yeah. And they yeah. they ripped off the places like this, and they had saddles hanging here, and I loved it because you could see the harness for the for the work animals, you know. And it was just a beautiful thing to see, and I miss it to this day. There were collars and blankets and everything hanging on that thing. But that's anyway. Urban Renewal came along, huh? Hurry, hurry. Urban <laughs> five minutes. Urban Renewal came along and changed our life too. Uh, a lot of them around here. It it uh, it took a, closed our basement windows down there. We used to have windows that were all right on the sidewalk level down there. We had two of them shaped like this down there, and they had pieces of pipe so people couldn't crawl in. And um, when the Dalton Raid happened, and by the way, you've heard many versions of the Dalton Raid, a lot of them which are, uh, I've never heard of myself. But anyway, the, the, uh, the way we had always heard it was that uh, the shooting came from the basement down here through those windows. Henry Isham supposedly was a crack shot. And um, I had a classmate told me about 20 years ago that his grandfather was a boy of six in here the day of the raid with his grandfather. And they hustled them all down to the basement and said they stood there and watched Henry Isham shoot through that window. And he's the one that really killed the Daltons. I don't care who else is. That's funny. You can have anybody you want to kill them. That's fine. If it fits in your back pocket, that's he'd okay. He won national awards for his marksmanship. Yeah, he, and, and they never made a big to-do of it because they were afraid somebody would come after him. And at one time, we had his gun over in the uh, museum, but I think it got lifted somehow during the thing. But we used to have, uh, uh, say, this all the farm equipment stuff out here. We had, uh, you know, her, uh, the corner over here back behind the bank, we used to have a motor company over there, DeSoto Plymouth Dealers, and we had farm equipment over there, too. We sold, uh, sold the farm equipment, and, um, so, and we had the, the mechanics that worked on it back here, and if they couldn't fix it, it couldn't be fixed. And during World War II, that was particularly tough. And um, the... Um, Let's see, what else, Darren? What should I tell them about the old bill? Oh, yeah, when they moved the safe in here, it took a whole bunch of them to move this safe in. By the way, if you ever want to take a nap, if you can get in there, you can close the door and you'll be real happy in there. It's nice and warm and cozy, but it's heavy, too. But anyway, it took a whole bunch of them to get that in there, but they had to shore up the building to put in. And it, again, if you it looked in the back, you'll see a big old back door back there, and that door leads into our elevator, which is like a 9 by 12 bedroom going up down pulled by one and a quarter inch rope until 1970 and they finally found out somebody had invented a thing called a motor <laughs> and they put a motor on it and uh, yeah the old rope's still hanging there remember that Pete? They, oh, oh yeah bless. oh yeah and they put the brake on it yeah it clunk. oh yeah clunk yeah you always wanted on. to break the rope <laughs> but anyway that that was put in there that outside door was put in there because they'd put buggies they'd set buggies up and all this and that and they'd haul them on that elevator upstairs to the third floor and store them until somebody wanted one, and then down the buggy oh, would wow. come on the, uh, And if you were lucky, you could get a ride on the elevator and if you had yeah, nerves. Yeah, tell them it still works, and we still use it every day. Yeah, yeah, we do. We still use it every day. 
They do. I don't. I don't care I don't for it. Either. But um, <laughs> let's see. Old, old, okay. We are heading, our family is heading toward 19, or 20, 2018, when we will have had the business for 100 years. Wow. And uh, say right now it's Dana <laughs> and me and Annie, mm -hmm. Annie's, uh, Jerry's daughter. We lost Jerry three years ago. And uh, we're still hanging in here. It's uh the world ain't what it used to be as far as buying and selling things. You go to a discount store, you know. We've got the same thing, five cents cheaper. <laughs> and uh, and the know-how that goes with it. That doesn't count anymore. Um, they're running places like our business out of business. Okay. And um, we still got some unusual things in here that nobody else carries. We deal with two major warehouses and some 30 individual companies to, to deal what we stock in here. And um, before I quit, I do want to tell you who helps us in here. Yes. <laughs> We've got Shirley, Gow Shirley Gowan, who's our our girl Friday, our mm -hmm. resident bookkeeper. She's been with us two, three days, Shirley. <laughs> 17 18 years, 18 years. 18, 18 and years. John Johnson, who's been with us off and on for how many years, John? About 20? Huh? 32. 32. 32. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. No, good me. And uh, <laughs> we've got uh, Tom Kill that helps us part time. <coughs> and Tom, Tom, Tom Mishner. Tom's here. Mm -hmm. Tom, where are you? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> and and uh, Ms. Van Oster helps us with the with the business part of it. I can still add two and two, but it, it gets difficult past that point. Um, I could stand up here and talk about nothing for ages, but you've probably heard some of it before. We need to. We work hard at the business. We enjoy it. We're getting older, though, aren't we, Dana? Yeah. I have a new watchdog. She's upstairs. She'd like to be down here. But uh, that's it. That's it. That's, that's all the time they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> huh, if you want more, schedule us again. <laughs> we win. We, thanks for coming. And Candy, uh, the chamber girls are awfully good to us. When people come in town, they ask them if they'd like to come over here, and we really enjoy you sending people, and we enjoy talking. It's, it's, we've had a lot of people that really are interested in our town, so thank you for sending them here. We appreciate it. And I will just reiterate uh, about just, you can find everything here. Um, for cheaper and they will help you with it. I mean, there's been many a times we've had just random things like a bolt came out missing from a cabinet and I'm like walking over going, I need one that matches this. Can you help me? And you know, they'll help me with that. They'll help us with um, lights. We've had new lights put in and just you, you name it, it's here. You just got to find it, but they'll, they'll know where it's at. They'll find it for you. <laughs> so. And you guys can you. order a lot of things too. I know I found a, a pocket knife for my husband at Bass Pro and I was like, oh, I wonder if I knew you guys carry that. And I came here, and they ordered, and it was cheaper. And I can get it right here. So yeah. Yeah. Um, think about that, too. We can order things even. Another commercial. When I started remodeling a house two years ago, I would go around town because I didn't know about this store. I was new. And everywhere I went, whether it be farm stores, l lumber yards, it didn't matter where I went. If they didn't have it, they'd say, Try have you gone downtown? And, you know, and I'm like, no, I've never been there. What is it? What is it? Yeah. So I came down and, well. Uh, Thank you. <laughs>